welcome to my review of episode 8 of American Horror Story. And I have to say, this episode just kind of blew me away. I apologize once again, I didn't write down who wrote and directed the episode. So look for it right here and in the description. But it was a very great episode. So spoilers if you do not want to be spoiled for episode 8 of American Horror Story. All right, guys, this was the continuation, obviously, of episode seven. Picked up right where the story left off with Matt and Shelby. Basically, they decided to try to flee the house through the underground tunnel. It did not work. The ghosts were down there and still very angry, so they had to turn around and leave. Matt's hand was trapped in a door, and then he was hit by the pig man, which Matt healed pretty quickly, now that I think about it. It's kind of weird. So they went back upstairs, the ghost chased them back upstairs, and Shelby was so sad about what she had done to Matt that she killed herself. And so my theory is still that Shelby was a witch, obviously. However, unless she rises, <laughs> uh, I don't think she's supreme anymore. <laughs> However, she could be a late riser, possibly, and that why, that's probably why she's not uh, rising yet. But unfortunately, after Shelby killed herself, at the end of episode 8, it is the next morning, and Shelby has not risen. So it makes me think that either, yeah, she's a really late riser, or <laughs> she's definitely not the Supreme. So we will see as episodes go by. Again, we have two more episodes. This is so exciting to see where they go. So Dominic is left in the house. Then the attention is mostly turned back to Lee, Audrey, and Monet. Lee basically escapes when she when she fakes attraction to the younger Polk man that is watching her. And he tells her as well that Piggy Man is one of his um, forefathers, so to speak. Is, is, was I think his name was Kincaid Polk. But you guys should definitely go back and watch the episode because it was great. He gives the backstory on his... Kinfolk, who actually was the Piggy Man, and how he turned into an actual, you know, urban legend, so to speak. And it was really, a, again, a, a great discovery episode. So Lee fakes attraction to this young man in order to get her hands free, and it works. He frees her hands, and she uses it to knock him out and leave him there. I don't, he was still moving when she left, so I assumed he was still alive. However, I guess he, he could be dead. But in that time that Lee was with that guy, she thought that she really was going to die. And so she recorded on a, on his camcorder that she was the one that killed Mason. It, nobody else helped her. It was just her and she wants to admit it to give her daughter closure and that she's so sorry to Flora that she did it. She did it because Mason was going to take Flora away from her and she couldn't allow that to happen, which doesn't make sense to me. If she killed Mason because Mason threatened to take Lee away from Flora, then Lee ultimately took Mason away from Florida. He did exact, she did exactly what he did. And I still, you can't still convince me that Lee did that by herself if she did kill Matt. So there is still a question in the air for me, if Lee did kill Mason and if she did it alone, I don't believe her confession and I don't believe her when she said that she is the lone person to kill Mason. Again, you just can't convince me of that as of yet. So hopefully we'll get the answer to that at the end of the season. So this tape still exists. Keep that in your mind, please. Lee escapes. At this point, Monet and Shelby are with the other two Polk brothers who need teeth. <laughs> and unfortunately, they decide to take Monet and Shelby, or Monet and Audrey's teeth. Now, at this point, Mama Polk leaves. And Monet is able to get free. And she is trying to get Audrey free, but she can't. 
So instead, Monet takes off. And I want to hear in the comments, what would you guys do if that was some, if you were in Monet's position? Would you stay behind to free Shelby? Or free Shelby? I keep calling her Shelby. I'm sorry, guys. Would you stay behind to save Aubrey? Audrey? Or would you flee as well as Monet did? Personally, I would definitely try to save Audrey. If I couldn't, I would have grabbed a weapon very quickly, or I would have left only to get a better weapon if I couldn't find one. But that's just me. Tell me what you guys would have done in the comments. So Monet takes off and she is pursued by the two Polk boys. Mom and Polk comes in and she takes over their job and she rips out one of Audrey's teeth. Oof. And I have to say it was a very crazy episode. It was very brutal very brutal. It reminded me a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre because the first time, the original obviously, because the, the one with Gunnar Hansen, because the first time I saw that movie, that, oh god, that movie was definitely brutal. And this episode very much reminded me of that. So after Audrey's tooth was taken, Mama Polk goes back to take another one and that's when Lee comes in and saves the day by knocking out Mama Polk so she can free Shelby and after she's freed Shelby Mama Polk starts kind of laughing at Shelby I'm so sorry she frees Audrey Mama Polk is laughing at Audrey and Lee and Audrey goes kind of crazy and she bashes Mama Polk's head in with the crowbar this is the second time somebody pointed out in Beyond the Heart this is the second time the Shelbys went crazy with a crowbar and bashed someone's head in, which Shelby and Audrey did that. Audrey, the person who played Shelby. <laughs> that really was uh, weird to have that happen, that both of them did that. And uh, so they flee and they get back to the house they get in through the tunnel, and I don't understand how they managed to get in when Shelby and Dominic couldn't get out. However, they get in and they see Matt in the basement, and Lee is so upset, and Shelby takes her upstairs, and then they find, Audrey takes her upstairs, and then they find Shelby dead. And that's when they kind of start to panic, and they think maybe the ghost did it. But that's when Dominic is still in the bathroom and he tells them, no, um, Shel uh, Shelby did that to herself. And Audrey and Lee kind of don't believe him. They tell him that they don't believe that Shelby would kill herself. And he said, no, she really did. She killed Matt and then she killed herself over the guilt of it. And that's when Lee and Aubrey said, we don't believe you. She came here specifically to get Matt back. And he even told them. Shelby caught Matt having sex downstairs with that thing, meaning Scathage. So the girls still don't believe him and they kick him out basically of the bedroom. And the bathroom that is attached to the bedroom is where Shelby is laying dead. Unfortunately, after they kick Dominic out of the bed out of the bedroom, the piggy man is right there and he butchers. Dominic, unfortunately. So Dominic is down. Dominic is down, guys. He's gone. Let's cut him off. He's dead. And unfortunately, though, Audrey and Lee don't rescue him and they don't let him in, which really sucked. <clears throat> but this is when I really start to love Audrey because she starts talking about the fact that Shelby dies and it's like a part of her has died with Shelby and then she, she starts talking to herself in the camera doing a selfie video telling her fans how she's really sorry that she had to die and that she had so many outstanding performances just waiting for them and she's so sorry that she won't be able to do that for them. It was hilarious. <laughs> And then I don't remember what she says, but even as they walk by Dominic's dead body, the next morning after he's killed, Audrey says something to him. I don't remember what it was, something about getting his own sh I don't remember. But it was hilarious. Audrey definitely won the one-liner award uh, this 
uh, this week. I just loved everything that kind of came out of her mouth this week. So Audrey, definitely, I'm starting to love her. It just sucks though that it's episode eight, two episodes left, and I'm starting to love one character. That really sucks because again, Hotel was my favorite because I loved Liz and Sally and James and I knew that I loved them way before the halfway point. So just had to say that very quickly. The next morning comes and Lee talks Audrey into going back to the Polk farm. Her reasoning of going back is that Shelby has just murdered Mama Polk. It was on video camera. They're everywhere. They have to go back and get that footage, otherwise they will be accused of murder. And Audrey even says to her, look, I don't care about the footage. Let people see it. I want them to see it. They will see that I had to defend myself. And Lee uses the logic that it doesn't matter. She's murdered somebody. It doesn't matter if it was self-defense and they have to go back. So Lee tells Audrey, look, I'm going to go back with or without you. So you can either come with me or you can just leave. But I'm going back to the Polk Farm. I'm getting those tapes. I'm hot wiring their um, truck and I'm leaving <clears throat> before the blood moon comes up again. <laughs> and Audrey at this point says, okay, I'll go with you. Now we as the viewer know at this point that since Lee has actually given a confession to these cameras when she thought she was going to die, we know that Lee is going back, not for the tapes of Audrey killing Mama Polk, but she's actually going back to save her own skin of her own confessional tape. So as they are leaving the farmhouse to go and go back to the Polk farm, the pig man is right there at the front door when they open it. Lee bashes his head with a crowbar and that's when he says, whoa, hang on, wait up. He takes the pig head off and it's Wes Bentley. And he was just telling them, you know, it's me. And that's when Audrey says, Dylan, is that you? Something like that. I believe she calls him Dylan. And then the show ends. We get a little bit of preview for next week. The previews look different than what they normally have. I will, I do apologize. I did not get a chance to do a predictions video for episode eight. I will do one for episode nine and 10. And um, I, I do want to definitely do those predictions because I don't care if I'm wrong. They're just so much fun to do them and to jump into the world known as American Horror Story. So the last thing to tell you is Monet. Monet ran out into the woods and she was captured by the two Polk brothers. We don't unfortunately know what happened to her after that point because when that happened, that was right before uh, Audrey bashed in Mama Polk's head. So we don't know what happened to Monet after that point. So I hope we will find out what happens to her next week. So this episode was great, guys. It was gory as hell. So gory. Again, I started to fall in love with Audrey and her one-liners, her selfishness. I have to say, Sarah Paulson has been really given some pretty great characters during American Horror Story seasons. My favorite of her has to be Sally, hypodermic Sally. But again, this episode was just so great. It was so violent, so violent and brutal. It's, it's reminiscent of Asylum and Coven. Because if you guys remember, those two seasons were very violent and brutal as well. So if you want to, I do advise to you to please don't just listen to my review. Go back and watch the episode for yourself because it was spectacular. Uh, I give it definitely a 10 out of 10 and I am ex very excited to find out what happens in episode 9 and episode 10. Again, I'm still holding on to my theory that Shelby is a witch, but unless she is a late riser or somebody comes to resurrect her, I don't think anything else is going to be happy. Hashtag Shelby is dead. RIP Shelby. Deuces. So guys, thank you so much for uh, watching my review. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to get more videos and reviews. I will keep going, obviously, for every episode of American Horror Story. And please turn in 
to my live after show called Beyond the Har, where I talk about the show with Casey Soper and Maisie Andrews, two out of five of my admins from Freaks of AHS. We just wanna talk live with you guys about the show, about what we love about it, and take your comments. So thank you guys again so much. That show is every Wednesday immediately following American Horror Story, which is generally 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you all again so much for watching. I love you all, you're awesome. Don't forget, 5,000 views and you get a house tour. Bye guys. Mm -mm. Mm -mm.